Hi, this is Tom Meeks of the Cubify Fans blog. I just uploaded this STL file and I want to show you a few of the techniques I use to make this handle. I'm not going to show you everything, but just some of the basic things that allow us to have a handle that has a hole and an insert that will go in that hole. We're going to take a top view and the first thing I'm going to do is, is create the handle itself. All right, we go to zero. Come over here, anywhere. And we've just made an ellipse. Okay, now with that ellipse, I can make a solid. I click on the, the ellipse. I go to revolve. It says uh, make a re uh, axis that you're going to re re revolve on. So I do that. Now I have a solid. And let me get rid of that uh, ellipse. The next thing I'm going to do is use two lines. A line here and a line in the back where the smaller end is because I want it to be a little bit uh, fancier uh, in the back. I want to have a cut off in the back. I want to do some ornamentation later. I'm not going to show you that, but we'll show you how this works. I select the object, go to Construct, Boolean, Difference. Now it says select those things that we're going to use for the subtraction. I selected the lines and say OK. When I do that, look, I've cut the ends off, and now I have a, a solid object that has uh, flat ends on both, both ends. We have a large end and a small end. Okay, let me get this in. There we go. So now we have our objects that we're going to now put our hole in. Well, how do we make that hole? Let me back out here just a little bit, slide it over, and I'll show you. We're going to make our hole, and we want to use the pentagon for that by going to polygon. We'll start right here, and we'll make something about that size. We'll make another polygon with the same center. Right. Now, we have two polygons. That's, that's what we're going to use to taper. I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to click on this item, and I'm going to go to Transform Move. Click on that item and drag it to the front, and then I'm going to click on this item and drag it here. We'll go back to the front, and we will we'll center these up because I wasn't very careful how I moved those. We got to transform a line, uh, align the vertical. Well, let's go ahead and align them in here, okay? And then we'll do the same thing: align on the horizontal. There we go. Now I have to lift it up just a hair. And the way I do that is I go to move. Click on this vertice and bring it right up. Now you'll notice that now I have um, centered polygons, but you can't see them. So I'm going to name this object right here. We're going to name that handle and so that we can make it uh, invisible while we work. Turn the handle off. Look from the top. I'm going to select the back, the front, and I'm going to go to Construct and Loft. And that instantly, just using those two shapes, instantly made a solid that will be our insert. We'll get rid of the back and the front, those lines that we used to make it. We'll turn our handle on, and you'll notice that we are now set up here. One of the beauties of this program is that I can select this object, and I can say, well, it's 40.75. Let me make it 39. Okay, yeah, a little little smaller, and we'll center it up just a just a hair better. Okay, there we go. That way we're not out on the edges. So I select the handle. I select the boolean difference. This time I want to keep the object. Click on that center object. Say done, and watch what happens when I move it. I've created a hole using that insert, I've created a hole that will exactly fit that insert. Let's get that around. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to name the insert. A named 
insert so that I can make the insert go. Whoops, that was the... Let's do that again. I'm going to select the whole object instead of just the face. I'm going to name it insert. And now I can turn the insert off. So now we have a handle. I'm going to make the handle just a little fancier. And here's how we do that. Let me go back to our front view. And we'll center it inside. We'll go to the right view. And I'm going to make a circle. This circle is going to be about right here. Okay. And that circle is what I'm going to be using to make the grooves. So let's go to the front. Move this circle to the front. Right there. Come up with this line. Make a line from here to the back. And uh, now I'm going to uh, go to Construct, Sweep, pick a rail, done. And you'll notice that I have made a solid object that goes along that rail using that circle. And I could have curved that. I could have done that in any way. But right now, this is all we need. I'm going to go to the front or the, to the right side again. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say I'm done. I'm going to pick, pick the uh, object up here. And I'm going to say transform array circular. Pick up center point right there. And you'll notice that I now have as many objects around that circle as I need. I've said six. I'm going to say done. Now I'm going to pick that base object again. Go back to our Boolean. Boolean's a really wonderful thing. Difference. Now I'm going to turn off Keep Objects because I'm going to get rid of those objects. And now I'm going to select the objects to subtract. And I'm going to say Done. And we'll go to 3D View. Get rid of this line. And you can see now that we have a handle that has grooves in it. And we have a handle that has an insert that anything could be attached to the front of this insert, and that's going to fit in that handle. So I hope that was useful to you. Get it around here the right way. And that you found that the Moment of Inspiration is a real easy program to use. It took us eight minutes to do this. Um, and I, probably if I weren't talking, I could do it a little faster. Enjoy it, and I hope you uh, find the nail holder to be very useful for you, too. Uh, see you on the blog.